No, I'm glad that you like it. That was the first time, well, Dean and I had worked together. Actually, we met because uh, we were doing this crazy, huge, it's called the Big Money Shot. It's this big radio contest for bands here in town years and years and years ago. And because we'd made it to a certain stage in the competition, we had the chance to have a songwriting session. We had to write a song in an afternoon. And then we had to record the song in one day. And so we were teamed up with Dean. And that's how I met Dean originally. And I was very poor. Very poor. I had like $300 to my name. And I was wondering how I was going to possibly make enough money to pay for first and last month's rent. Oh, that was a fun time. Um, so I started playing music again and I was like, well, I, I was like, maybe I go and bartend. Like, I don't know how to make money fast enough to do this. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess I play music. Maybe I could try to do a couple of bar gigs. Uh, started booking some, some gigs and, and it was really hard to book gigs cause I didn't have any solo stuff. I only had the stuff from, from a, from a previous project that I'd worked on. So a lot of places were asking for what my sound is like. I'd want to send them something. I didn't have anything. And I had some friends who'd started coming to these new shows asking for CDs. And I'm like, I don't... <laughs> That's the, the, the furthest thing from my mind. Uh, having a roof over my head and being able to afford my next meal is, is the priority right now. And I put up an Indiegogo campaign because people were asking for albums. And I, I, I was too if you've known me for for as long as you've known me and for many of you now that's a, a couple of years which is crazy I don't like asking for things <laughs> um the only time we've had kind of donation goals on stream too is charity streams um I feel I I don't know I guess it's just um also like an artist thing asking is is hard so I would do some Indiegogo campaigns and they'd make me so uncomfortable. But just being able to at least afford the printing, being able to cover that cost, because otherwise I couldn't I couldn't pay them and they wouldn't print it unless I paid up front. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, I can do an Indiegogo campaign and people can pre-order the album. So at least like they're buying the album. It's just giving me the chance to be able to pay for the printing of it. And I was giving them a bunch of extra stuff and everything else. Um, and, and, and my, my goal then was $2,000. Yeah. $2,000 for a whole album. But when I put that campaign up, uh, Dean reached out immediately and said, Hey, hey, I am, uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in working with you again, if you'd like to, like to work with, with me. And I told him, like, I probably couldn't afford him. And he was so amazing i mean he's still amazing to this day doing kind of quarantine things and covid tests and stuff just so we can work together in comfort like dean's just an awesome human being but that was the first time we we uh, had the chance to do a whole album so it wasn't like a one day studio session where we just had to lay down a track uh we got to do the the whole album the whole all of chameleon so it was the first time we really got to work on a project yeah dean is awesome whoa dunder whoa <laughs> <laughs> oh, asking for things sounds fake I know and I know it's so hard so um, those Indiegogo campaigns had I not posted that then Dean wouldn't have done Chameleon with me so if you want to hear some of our work together before you hear this next album that's coming out of Dean and I working together Chameleon was that that record that we we put out together